Dear friends, this week we're still learning about the construction of the tabernacle in the desert. It's time that is used by Jewish people to build. How much of our daily lives is used in between, in transition, building? We're not here and we're not yet there. Often we feel like it's a waste. How much time can I wait in that office? How much can I stand in traffic? But all those little journeys are combined into a beautiful journey of life. We can use that time wisely. When we're sitting at that doctor's office and see other people that are also waiting, perhaps it's an opportunity to smile at them and send positive thoughts. Perhaps at the office, when we're waiting for the meeting, we could do something productive. We could show patience. We can perhaps grow and show other people what it's like to be dignified and wait patiently. And we're waiting for kids to grow, and that takes years. Transitional time is vital. Do not rush things. Think about the time when Jewish people walked out of Egypt. It took 40 years to transition to the land of Israel. Transition is a very important period of a human life. Also, I'd like to share with you that this week we're learning about the fact that Moses has to be accountable for everything that Jewish people donated for the tabernacle. We have to be accountable for our time, for our money, and for, of course, other people's money. But time is the most important resource of all. Some people say that time is money. Jewish people say that time is life itself. Because at the end of our lives, there's nothing more precious than time. And finally, I'd like to tell you that all is guided by our desire. There's a beautiful story about a person who had nine people in his car. He was stopped by a policeman and brought into a court. The judge said, I can't believe that nine people would fit inside that small car. And he asked the jury, the nine members of the jury, to sit inside that car. They tried, but of course they had no desire and therefore they weren't able to accomplish it. And the judge dismissed the case. Of course, it's an anecdote. But those people, those original nine people, they had a tremendous desire to get a ride and they were able to squeeze inside the small vehicle. They were able to achieve something that's not so easy to accomplish. Often in life, when we put our minds to it and we really want to do it, we can. Have a wonderful and a meaningful week ahead.